Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Lucky Sky PvP. So this is a really amazing mini game that is free to download off of Spigot. It has so many cool features, it's pretty unique, I haven't really seen anything like it before and you can download it and play it on your server. So to start with I'm going to go through some of the features. As you can see there is a scoreboard, it shows your kills, deaths, KD and players. I'm in game at the moment. Um, we have a lucky block in my hand, so this is a very awesome feature. Obviously when you put lucky blocks down and smash it you will get maybe something good, something bad or you might even get some sheep or some stones. So that is really cool that the developer has added this and potions as well. There is also custom items. You can get emerald leggings, emerald pickaxe, emerald swords, so all emerald armor. You can in fact craft uh, the lucky blocks so we'll go through that in a bit and there is shops to spend your emeralds on which you get from killing people. So. Let's go ahead and start with the commands. So it's very, very easy to set up, but before you do anything, you want to either create a new world called Sky PvP or rename it in the config file, which I'll show you a bit later. So let's go ahead and do Sky PvP, and this will show us the player commands and admin commands. So the admin commands, we need to set spawn points. Let's go ahead and set a few of those. So spawn, set spawn, and it's going to be one, two, three, four, etc. So fly around, quickly do this, 2, 3 is going to be over here, and 4 is going to be here. It doesn't have to be set out like this, you can make your map uh, however you want really, and I would, why is that broken? I would highly recommend putting the villagers somewhere in the map so players can obviously kill other players, get emeralds, and then spend it on, um, on various things. So once you've settled that, um, there's not much else you need to do. You can spawn some villagers. So if you do PvP, Sky PvP even, spawn villager, and then whichever one you want. So uh, we are going to go with bows. There is quite a few. You can obviously see them if you do Sky PvP. It will show all of them. So there's diamond armor, food, potions, extras, bows, iron armor, and weapons. So if we have a quick look, you can see... Um, it costs a varying amount, so 10 for that. Potions, they are pretty cheap. Extras, this is pretty cool. You can actually buy lucky blocks if you don't want to craft them. And you can buy lots of other things as well. So that is a very cool feature of this plugin. If we uh, look at the signs quickly, these are very easy to do. Sky PvP in square brackets at the top. And either join or leave at the second line. So that is cool. Uh, leave, there we go. So that is how you set up an arena. It's very easy to do. You can obviously put these wherever you want. You could spread them out around the map. And we are going to fly down here and have a go at uh, the game. So there are also um, jump pads as well. The way you create one of those is you need obviously um, a gold pressure plate and an iron block. Pop them down like that and then you can just go jumping about. And there's a nice particle effect as well. So that's very, very cool. Then uh, we can actually choose our kits. So if you do Sky PvP and then kits, you can select any kits you want. So there is only one at the moment. We're going to create another one a bit later. But uh, yeah, that's good. There is also a default kit if you don't have any of the other kits unlocked. Like that. So uh, it's got a shield. That's pretty cool. Haven't really used that before. But we are going to kill our opponent. And you can see there is also a blood effect. Um, which is part of the plugin. Very, very cool. As you can see, I got an emerald for killing him. There's a really cool message in chat, and we can see our stats, um, either via command or via the scoreboard. So we can smash a few of these, see what we get. Um, nothing too good. And let's go ahead and jump on this. Let's go over here and look at all of the cool things you can craft. So we have all the emerald armor, um, Crafted in the same way you craft any other armor. Same thing with the pickaxe and sword. Let's actually take this sword and use it. And that is how you create a lucky block. So we are going to kill him once more with this emerald sword. Very, very cool. And there we go. So that is everything in-game. We are going to go into the config files now. There's quite a few of them. And see what we can change in there. So here we are in the Sky PvP folder and as you can see there are eight YML files. We are going to start with the config.yml at the top and as you can see there is a fair amount of stuff in here, mostly messages so you don't really need to um, 
mess around with that unless you want to. Uh, if you do want to, you can use these placeholders. This is a very cool feature. Obviously the player name, the killer name, and then the killer's health will all be shown in chat. Maybe you don't want to show the killer's health because that might give an unfair advantage, so you could remove that if you really wanted to. So, um, we do have the stats um, which you could customize. We have the join and quit messages and world protection. So this is a very cool feature. You can allow players to break blocks, you can protect chests and have weather d disabled if you really want to. Scroll down a bit more, we have the particles feature which I showed you. That's really cool. We have a sound, drops and re rewards. Obviously this is very important so you can actually use the shops. So um, I would recommend keeping that enabled. And then we have full damage, you could, depending on your map, really. And we have uh, lucky blocks as well. So there is a lot of cool things in here that um, you don't really need to edit. Only a few things you could change. Then let's go into the default kit. So we saw this, we had all of these features. Um, you could add more if you really wanted to. But uh, I think it's fine how it is. Obviously you have the ID, the meta um, ID as well and the amount. So that is the sword, this is the bow, obviously the arrows, you have 16 arrows, very very straightforward. And then we have all the other kits in here. So this is pretty cool, you can unlock them with permissions, maybe donations get more, something like that. To create a new kit is pretty straightforward. The easiest way to do it is obviously copy and paste the previous kit, rename it, otherwise you will have issues, so this could be a donator kit, and uh, make sure you change the permission as well donator and then you can change the items so it's a uh, similar format we have the item ID the metadata you don't really need that for uh, swords and whatnot that's only really for blocks a comma and then obviously the amount at the end very very straightforward let's go into the main menu now and in here we have um, the size of the inventory depending on how many kits you have and the name of the kits so um, we will need to create a brand new one for the donator kit we made this is the location of the GUI, so um, we need to put it in the second slot, which is called 1. You can change the uh, icon, obviously you'd want to change that to maybe a gold block, whatever that is. So, um, I don't know, 121 might be that, it's probably not. And you can call it a donator kit, like that. So that's very cool that you can change all of that good stuff. And we are going to go into MySQL which is an awesome feature. You can set up a MySQL database if you really want to. We have the spawn locations, which we set in-game. That has all the, the spawns. Then we have the stats. This just saves all of the player's information. Obviously, we're doing very, very well with five kills, zero deaths. And finally, the villager trade. So we had a quick look at this. This has all of the different villagers. There is a lot of them. And what they sell and their price. So you can obviously change... Um, the required item maybe you don't want to use emeralds you could change it to uh, stone or something like that although um, if players can mine stone it might be a bit unfair and then we have the prices and the actual item so that is everything it's a really awesome plugin it's obviously free to download and it's a lot of fun to play especially with those lucky blocks and if you do want the texture pack there is a link on the spigot page as well so you could set that up with your server or you could just get players to download it whatever is easier so subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time